Meat Boy is back and today we are making Sloppy Joes which I'm genuinely surprised I haven't made yet because it's really just a bunch of ground beef on a bun. You can't get much more carnivore than that. And in the context of getting kids or picky eaters to consume more animal protein, this is as good as it gets. Usually these recipes sneak in some high quality dairy, a bit of steak here and there, but to actually get someone to consume, you know, a quarter, half a pound, three quarters of a pound of meat in one setting to get the B vitamins, and that animal protein that the average person is so deficient in nowadays is a bit rare. So let me show you guys what ingredients we need. So there's three stages to this recipe. We're going to brown the meat, take it out of the pan, caramelize the vegetables, and then put the meat back in with the sauce and let that simmer for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, for the meat, we're using 100% grass-fed, a top secret blend on Frankie's free range meat. So if you go under the ground beef section, uh, this will be available. And I'll do a video on this in the future when I'm 100% ready to launch it. But uh, this is just really special. Uh, just I've messed around with a bunch of different cuts and this is what I have came up with. Frankie's free range meat.com top secret blend. Uh, the vegetables we need are one onion, one green bell pepper, and six cloves of garlic. I've already diced that up and then for the sauce we have ketchup coconut aminos honey to sweeten it a little bit some mustard and some butter that we're going to saute the meat in and there's some variation in these recipes uh, the veg is typically the same sometimes they'll use tomato paste uh, instead of coconut aminos they'll use worcestershire which is to me not that high quality and this is basically identical a few tweaks to make it healthier as well as a little bit tastier. Almost forgot, I did grab some Wagyu beef tallow from Frankie's Range Meat because I don't want that butter to burn so much when I'm caramelizing the meat. I wanna be a little careful because this pan is really hot, but. So I have two pounds of beef and this recipe is a lot, you know, maybe two or three nights of leftovers for your family. But if you're gonna put in the effort to make something this high quality, you know, you wanna have those leftovers. And I put the meat in the pan like this so that we can get a nice browning and caramelization. If you just put the ground beef in here and start breaking it up, it's going to start sweating and releasing a lot of moisture and it's ultimately going to steam instead of caramelize. Now most recipes what they'll do is, you know, they'll break it up, they'll completely kill it, they'll take it out, put it back in and then cook another 15-20 minutes which is way, way, way too long. At least this way. We can keep most of it raw, still get that caramelization, and then put it back in. All right, that should be good. So now we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to the pan, so that when we saute the vegetables, we add a lot of flavor. And again, this is one bell pepper, one whole onion, and six cloves of garlic. So these we just wanna soften. Uh, I mean, I guess you could caramelize them if you wanna try to add some more flavor, but every recipe I've looked at just uh, softens the vegetables for three to five minutes. So while that's sauteing, we have time to make our Sloppy Joe sauce. And in this measuring cup, I already have two thirds of a cup of filtered water. To that, we're going to add one and a half cups of ketchup. We want two tablespoons of honey. Some recipes use brown sugar. Some recipes use white sugar. About one tablespoon of the coconut aminos. One teaspoon of mustard. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to put a decent amount of salt in here because I haven't seasoned any of this dish yet. All the salt is going to be in this sauce. There's no salt on the meat. There's no salt on the vegetables. Just, you know, two or three teaspoons in here. Or put one teaspoon in here and then season the vegetables and meat accordingly. Uh, so this is where everything comes together. We're going to put our beef back in the pan. And we're going to pour in the sloppy joe sauce. So now I'm just gonna break up all the beef. All right, so everything is nicely mixed together. As you can see, there's still a lot of pink in here. The beef is mostly raw throughout. So we're gonna let this go for 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll check in when everything's cooked and the liquid has reduced slightly. So we let this simmer for about 20 minutes. Took it off the heat, it's cooling off now, and it looks perfect. It's a bit late, so my lovely sister is not here to taste test. However, I'm sure she will enjoy this over the next few days. Uh, I put a little bit in a bowl on the side just so that it would cool off a bit faster than the rest. And for the buns, I just 
went to Whole Foods and bought the organic uh, white buns. Uh, the whole wheat don't really taste that good. Uh, Dave's Killer Bread does have a pretty good brand uh, that tastes good that I uh, didn't see there today. And, and the ingredients on either, n not ideal, but it's really the only option in the supermarket. There's not that many organic buns available. You know, uh, wheat, gluten, cane sugar, canola oil. Uh, this is not bad. You know, if you're, again, compared to what your kid would normally eat or an average standard American dieter. I'm hoping to do a recipe on burger buns in the near future. It's just a lot of work, so I've been kind of delaying that. However, this will do for the Sloppy Joes. Now, I am not a sloppy guy. I don't like eating with my hands. I don't like getting messy. You know, if I get like a little bit of food on my hands or face, I have to like use four napkins to wipe it all off. I mean, it's basically pure ground beef on a burger. Definitely sloppy. Predominant flavor is beef. Hint of the ketchup. A little bit of the vegetables. So let's say, you know, you don't want hot dog buns, you know, your keto or like a not so strict carnivore. How does this taste on its own? I mean, it's good stuff. As someone who usually likes rare meat or, well, not well done like this, I can even go for this, you know, a couple times a month as, as a nice change of pace. Uh, so hopefully... Uh, you guys tried this recipe for yourself, your family, or your kids, and you enjoy it. If you can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. If you guys have any recipe ideas, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys do want to support me, you can see all of my businesses on frank We have that uh, top secret blend, as well as the Wagyu beef tallow, frankiesarrangemeat.com. And then you can see all the other businesses on frank defiocom Thanks again, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.